So all week we've been counting down to the biggest night in Hollywood. I'm, of course, talking about the Oscars. And we've been showing you our interviews with some nominees. One film up for six awards this year is Manchester by the Sea. It's nominated for Best Picture. And Casey Affleck and Michelle Williams could win for their performances in this film. Ben sat down with them to talk about this emotional movie. Lee, nobody can appreciate what you've been through. And if you really feel you can't take this on, you know, that's your right. It's not a happy movie, but there's one of the things that I really loved about this was there were so many moments where it seems like somebody could have stuck their nose into the development of this movie and said, we need to make it a little more Hollywood. We need to make it a little more of a, like add a little sunshine to it. And yet it really remained true to sort of these realistic roots. What, what appealed to you about this story? We both worked with the director before and, uh... And really liked him a lot, and he's um, he's one of my favorite writers. And and you know, the first time I read the script, I thought, well, I'd love to do that. So I think Michelle felt the same way. And um, you're right, it doesn't have the sort of perfect Hollywood happy ending, but that's you know one of the things that's great about it. Matt Damon told Variety that he when he had to pass up on this role, he said, "The only person I want to give this to is you." Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you as an actor? Because he's he's his work is, speaks for itself as well. Well, that's really nice. That's flattering, I guess. Um, I think what he really meant was, um, I, damn it, I hate that I have to let Casey <laughs> yeah. do this. You know? um, but uh, he, you know, he loves those Hollywood happy endings. I think he just couldn't deal with the fact right. that it didn't end that way. He's and coming off of the Martian. There weren't enough action scenes in it, and he just <laughs> didn't know how to really approach the character. So he had to pass it off to somebody else. How's Joe? He's fine. You know, he's... It's all right. It's all right. Michelle, what, what about um, for you this film? What did, what did it mean to you to be to be part of this? I wanted to work. <clears throat> we did a, a reading with Kenny, maybe ten or twelve years ago or something. And ever since then, I've just had this secret little hope that one day we would like work together in a. Who me or Kenny? I mean, both of you. Okay. Both of you. You and Kenny together was actually like the was the dream, <laughs> and then here I am. Right. I said a lot of terrible things to you. My heart was broken, and I know yours is broken too. Anybody who comes out of this movie references what I think is a really pivotal scene between the two of your characters, when chance meeting on the street, introducing, you know, your your characters, your baby. This this was an intense scene to watch. What must it have been like to work on that scene, to to do that scene? I mean, it's a beautifully written scene. Honestly, like when, when a scene is that well written, it becomes actually like a pleasure to do it. It's more like playing music than building with blocks. Like if you can like catch the musicality of the scene, yeah. then um, you just sort of go on a ride with it. I, I think we were both a little um, nervous about it. I'm on the hockey team. I'm on the basketball team. I gotta maintain our boat now. I work on George's boat two days a week. I'm your co-star, Lucas. Talk to me about working with this young man who's got, seems to have incredible potential. Yeah, you know, I never thought of him as sort of like a, as a kid, or I know he was only, I think he was a minor still, and he was working, he was 17 or something, but he was um, just very mature, very professional, really talented, so, you know, he was just, he was just another actor there on the set. You, you guys seem to clearly have a, a fun dynamic. There are some really heavy issues being dealt with, loss and trauma in this film. I mean, to cope in, in, in dealing with those on, on set, do you have to find humor in the day? How, how do you get through it? We had a good time uh, some of the time, but it's definitely, it's not um, the kind of movie where you're just always joking around and having a ball. It's um, a lot of the, it, some heavy material, and so some of the days feel kind of heavy. But just like the movie, uh, I think Kenny likes to find humor, and despite all that, whatever the subject matter is. I'm not gonna bother you, I'm gonna just sit here until you calm down. All right, I'm calming it. Would you please just go away? No. And tomorrow we're gonna show you my interviews with Naomi Harris and Barry Jenkins. They're both up for awards for Moonlight. Don't forget, you can watch the 89th Academy Awards Sunday evening right here on CTV. It all starts with eTalk's Ultimate Oscar Guide. That's at 5 p.m. Eastern. Head to ctv.ca for local listings.